Hello friends, welcome to this channel. In this video, I'll be discussing about two questions which I have taken from recent question paper GATE 2018. And this is a question from CSNA December 2017. So if you watch this video till the end, you will be able to answer these questions very easily. So let's start. So for the first question which has appeared at GATE 2018, it is one this is given and it is treated with K potassium hydroxide the major product of these there are four options are given and you have to select among uh, select one among them here this can be written as uh, R1 and uh, this group can be written as R2 for simplification and when it is treated with potassium hydroxide which is a basic condition you have to remember that that in basic condition there will be formation of four membered cyclic transition state and uh, for formation of cyclic transition state that two group must must be placed in a same same side so for that as you can see here that SIMA3 group is below the plane but here OH group is above the plane so for this what you have to do is you have to rotate this single bond because as the carbon carbon single bond rotation is allowed so the carbon carbon that single bond is rotated in such a way that oxygen and here SiMe3 group is remaining at the same plane. So here the formation of four member cyclic transition state is taking place and uh, which is going through syn elimination which leads to the product which is Z alkene. So here as you can see that this uh, if you do this reaction is in base base medium so the Z alkene you are getting so here the four options are given which is A that is the Z alkene and it is the E alkene so E alkene is here is not forming and here dihydroxylation is taking place so 2 OH group is taking place but it is not possible in this reaction here epoxidation is taking place so the right answer of this will be A and this is the question from CSNA 2017 uh, which is given given the elimination which is taking place at the acidic medium so uh, here the compound is treated with sulfuric acid so the lone pair of oxygen uh, of that hydroxy group is abstracting this proton now just see at first here it was hydroxy group so that is not a good living group at first now it uh, now as it is protonated so it becomes OH2 plus so which is a good living group in the second reagent it is given TBAF whose full form is tetrabutyl ammonium fluoride so here for butyl group is present and fluoride so fluoride will what it will do fluoride will attack at this silicon and the double bond will be formed here and water will leave so that is the anti-elimination So in acidic medium anti-elimination is taking place which leads to the formation of the alkene which is E. So uh, here the product will be formation of double bond at this. So here it will be the formed. And for the next part of the video that is the surplus epoxidation I will make a separate video uh, where I will include almost uh, 5 or 10 examples from surplus epoxidation. Uh, for that i will i will make a, another video and i will upload as soon as possible so thanks thank you for watching and uh, you know this concept is really very important and if you know this concept you will be able to solve most of the questions uh, which will come from this topic so now come to the key point uh, so if the reaction is taking place in basic medium the syn elimination will be taking place and if the reaction is taking place in acidic medium then the anti-elimination will be there so thanks a lot for watching this video and if you love it then please subscribe my channel uh, it, it will increase my <laughs> motivation thank you so much for watching now please subscribe this channel and I have made a note of in silicon chemistry uh, very important topics if you need that you can 